Hello my cuties of all cutinesses, today I am Katerina from League of Legends. And if you want to see how I became this warrior type woman, you'll just have to keep on watching as it's getting started right now. As I would love to do a look especially about League of Legends, I think she is a very sexy character, but I want to do her armor on the shoulders and the body part in paint. So I actually am not just going to do makeup with a scar and a red wig, I'm also going to do the body part. So I hope you will enjoy. I'm going to get started by doing a normal face makeup. Now I want to go for an in-between of the makeup characters that I see here and the cartoonish like character and I see that her base is a normal face makeup but I gotta see that on her left eye I do leave that scar but the scar doesn't really matter for my foundation so I'm gonna start with a BB cream I'm bringing the foundation pretty low because I'm gonna use the décolleté, the cleavage and everything, because she's got huge, you know what, boobies. And I'm gonna have to fake that of course, because I don't have them like that, so I will have to work with shading and that's why I am putting foundation on my body too. When my foundation is in place. I will powder it off and I'll have to go over for a very simple makeup look. But that scar is gonna be very nice. And she's got a very peachy blushy face. She's a lot younger than I am too. You know. <laughs> but I do have a square face and she has more a rounded pointy chin. So I'm going to try to mimic that a little bit, but not too much because I want to be my own version of her. First of all, I have to powder off this foundation or I will be a wiping off shimmery overload of BB cream, as you see. really want to have all this shiny and shimmery mess away but of course my under eye area is <laughs> gambling up that so let's put on concealer this is a concealer that I really want to tap in because it's not too bright not too light and I want to use that as a face up and I primer too. I don't know if there's still a lot in this because I really cannot see. The bottle isn't see-through enough, so this is what I normally use as also. Concealer, highlighter, concealer, concealer. Now I'm gonna try out my beauty blender. It's by Max and More. Haven't tried it yet. Don't know what the quality is. I don't know if it's... It does feel real soft, so I'll let you know in a moment. And 
And now what I want to do is set this with setting spray so that the concealer and the powder can melt together. And of course fan that dry. In the meantime I'm studying the scar that I'm going to have to make. This is the wig that I'm gonna wear. So that's this. Now, in this picture I can see the scar very well but first I'm gonna do my brows. It's no use to do it with real brow products. I'm just going to take a round tapered brush I'm going to start off with brown, a very dark brown apparently, a bit in a crown. So they do start a little bit rounded upwards. And then they take more of an S shape and go up kind of high. In this image they're quite thin. And I'm gonna leave a part where the scar might be. So up and fine, ending up there. But in the middle it's thicker. And not that. <laughs> that was a little bit over it. I'm going to use some air sponge before I do that because the scar will be more easy to draw on when it is but I am not touching my under eye my wrinkly dome now I'm gonna take burgundy red and put that over the brow A bit of orange to more match the color of my wig. Of course you never get the exact same color but I want to be close. And then orange. Okay, this is the one scar that I'm gonna do and the look that I'm gonna do. Her nose is very pointy, so I'm gonna mimic that with Lula bronzer. I'm gonna darken up my own nose tip. And I'm really gonna darken up from the brow. See that Katarina really has a darker spot right there. To really have that tippy nose. Her cheeks are very high and her contour comes away from outside the edge of her face but she does have a big forehead contour she doesn't have a big forehead but a big forehead contour
her neck too. It's very dark down here. And I need a bit more rounded jawbones. To make my face longer and pointier. And she has a very high contour, as I said. There. Then her eyes are also in a bit of red tonish, burgundy. Great color for that. And I am doing the eyeshadow before I'm gonna do the rest of the scar and the face. So with this red, I'm gonna start there and work my way around the eye. With a clean blending brush, I'm gonna soften down those edges. So I'm thinking about taking this in the middle, and I know I'm going pretty shimmery, but I want to go for a very sexy version of her, of Katarina. <laughs> and I've got flying eyeshadow. And I'm going for this light pinkish tone. And that I'm gonna bring in the middle part of the eye, but also a little bit edged like that red is. Now I'm gonna take white and I'll take the white from this belly. And I am going for a line that starts there. in the beginning of the crease, like so. And then the rest of her eye corner is a little bit highlighted, but not much. So that white line, I really want to ha ha have and keep. And that would be the makeup, like I see it in the picture. A darker brown eyeshadow and I'm gonna use a bigger fluffy brush because I want to fake those you know curves that she has and that I don't have <laughs> and that's his shade okay the first half hour I will be blending this one line Just kidding, I'm almost there. As you see. And as it's a cartoon, it's allowed to have a little bit exaggerated things like this. What you don't have, you gotta take. Now I'm going to shade my normal shadows. Of my body too. Please look for those is or this is or that is. I don't know which to go, where to go for this. I want my lashes, but don't know where. I have left them this time anywhere. When the dog bites, when the bee stings, when the sky is blue. I simply remember where I've placed my lashes and then I don't I feel blue. Sorry, got my lashes. Now, okay, first thing I'm gonna do is put a line in my inner rim. Cause she's got that too. So the waterline itself, she's got in white. 
I'm gonna follow the same picture here. Then I'm taking black eyeliner and I'm gonna take the tiniest stitch I have to do her line exactly along the which is very thin in the beginning but then gets wider here She's got long eyes, but she does have a liner like this. Look around, not in a point. And then high in the middle. And she's got a little upward flick that a lot of cartoon eyes have. I am going to extend this longer and higher because my eyes are a lot smaller than hers and I really want to have that sexiness that she has. This should be a little bit of a sexy smoothie, sexy, you know, eye of a cartoon. Mascara, where are you? And my lower lashes aren't gonna be much of a use and I will draw on a couple because she's got that, I see. I'm first going to draw the scar with a white pencil because it's white on the outer edges. I have a rough outline, I know where to go with my lines now and I'm going to start with black, it curves. That way, this way, down here. So that would be the inside of her scarf. Now I'm gonna leave the black like it is, not make it much darker, just one edge. Because she's got red, because it's blood. So I'm gonna make paint really creamy, because I'm gonna paint on black and that really has to be dry before I can put red on top. So while that is getting creamy, I'm going to put on my bright jersey because it's tacky enough. I'm taking red paint I am going to try to put uh, only in the middle of the scar that red. Really on top of that black. I am going to take a little bit of white paint because I want to line where hers is lined and I really want to get that highlights on the face everywhere too. So the most of the white line is on the inside. On this lowest part but it's very visible. On the top it's most visible where the brow is. Ouch. 
Typical. 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 Typ
the belt is actually coming that way Now I'm going to take my white pencil and use that to outline the bra. And I've got a vest with pointy color. As you can see, I have done the bra part in the first color and I know that the vest is going to be the same color but just needs more shading. So now for the shoulder parts and it has plates that come round. On the arm, it's just straight and up. I use the blow dryer to get it all a little bit in place. Now, with this black liquid paint instead of the water, I'm going to try, try, because it's my opposite hand, it's my bad shoulder, it's a disaster for me. What I am going to do is take my silver. It is silver already. I'm gonna put a line that does that and that and that. And I'm gonna make that line the same. And I'm gonna make a second line that comes from there and comes down. And does the same and goes along the brown and then there is another line that does it even much more visible comes back up and does it also the same and comes here and then goes down Take 
Makes it curve. And just round it off. A bit of a larger brush and do the same. Now that I'm on the right side of my right hand, my correct hand, my working hand, things should be a lot easier to do. So let's do the same on this side. That's what's meant to be. Now I've got to take a big tip like this and I'm gonna dab it in that dark grey to make the screw shape and there also is a screw on the leather of the coat and it's also here First of all, I have to shade with grey. Immediately gives so much more detail. parts with white and darker shadings in that. I'm gonna outline the belt and I'm just gonna do that with an angled brush instead of that thin liner, although you're making me doubt. Making me doubt, you know. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera lower so that you can see what I'm doing down here. <laughs> yeah, but it's still here, you know. I'm up here and you will watch down here. So, with a thin brush, I am going to outline the belt. And if it's not very, very perfectly straight from the first time, do not worry. You've got to shade, you've got to add stitches or folds or a lot of things. So, the main part of what I have to do now is outline highlight and shade that's that now these tiny details I'm going over again do so that you can really see how they are what they are uh, that was a guess <laughs> And again, you're not seeing what I'm doing because this mirror is in the way and the camera should be a tiny much lower. I am filling in this buckle thing that she has on her bra.
that's the outline of the top of the bra and then it has lines I have been memorizing it because I knew my battery was gonna die on me Now I'm going to give some shadings and lines here and there on the armor, on the entire costume. Some shadings wildly, randomly, but still in specific places, you know? Now this part of the bra is more of a dark grey so I'm filling up the dark grey That's that. So I'm gonna feather that grey into the brown of the costume. The vest do for some extra structure. Now I need white for highlights and I'm gonna put some highlights everywhere. So this is the final result of my look as Katarina from League of Legends. I want to thank you all for watching this tutorial with me. And if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Leave some nice comments down below, give me some thumbs up. And for me, there's as always one thing left to say and that is my love for makeup is spread all over to you and I really hope to see you again soon in one of my coming videos. So for now, bye bye. Sure hope you got that. And that too.